students, part of the argument mapping exercise asks you to uh, number premises and conclusions in an argument and then create a sort of numerical map, a kind of a visual map of that argument. So I just wanted to take a minute to show you how to do that exactly in Google Docs. It's actually very simple. So I've got my PDF file open here. I can either copy and paste from here or if this is acting funny I can always open up the uh, companion document, the copyable document, and try that. So let's try it from here first. Just do control V, control C, or control C, control V. Excellent. And I'll delete the stuff that doesn't belong. So I've got my argument all pasted in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and bracket it off. Fast forward there so I'd spare you having to watch me bracket everything. And then we just number each statement, each premise and the conclusion, just in order as they appear. One, two, three. And of course, if there's any statements in an argument that are not part of the premise, uh, or not part of the premises or the conclusion, just leave those out. Don't bracket them, don't number them. So I've got three statements that make up my argument here. Premise, premise, conclusion. So to draw my uh, argument map here, I'm just going to go to the next line, tab over, or however you like to do that, and I'm going to insert a drawing. Alright, now having already looked at the relationships between my premises and my conclusion, I know that the first premise supports the conclusion, and the second premise also works to support the conclusion, but the two don't really work together. They're just two separate premises, both supporting the conclusion. So I can draw my map out like this, because I read the instructions. Cool. Just using text box here, text boxes here. And then to get arrows, I just click on the line button, select arrow. Draw me an arrow here. Uh, there we go. Another arrow here. And that's that. Reposition my arrow. There we go. Cool. It's a little sloppy there, but it still points exactly where I want it to go. I've got premise one and premise two both contributing to premise three. So I just hit save and close and there's my image. I can resize it just because it doesn't need to be nearly that big and then I can go ahead and move on to my next argument. So that's how you do these sort of visual argument maps in Google Docs.